Hey, what's up, guys? So Slatan had an interview with Piers Morgan, and this is what he said about Eric Ten Hag. Let's go. Are the players underperforming? I think with the new coach. The new coach came from where? He was at Ajax. I was in Ajax also. Ajax is a talented club. Mm. They have the best talents in the club. They don't have big stars. Mm. What is the experience of this coach? Mm. Young talents. He comes to United. United is different mentality, different players. Mm. So the players there are supposed to be big stars. So I think with... Wait a second. So you mean to tell me that coaching young talent doesn't translate to coaching stars? The real problem is that he treated his stars like dirt. Let's keep going. With his experience being there, I don't know if he talks for him or not. Because he, I think he's in a different situation. And then above him, there is a gap where he doesn't get the help to manage the team. Listen, this is what I read in the paper. Yeah. So it's not that I have all the situation that ha that is happening. But I can just imagine him coming from Ajax to, to United is a big difference mm -hmm. because I've been in both clubs. You manage talents, up growing, is different kind of approach because there you have a different kind of discipline. You come to United, you, you do the same thing. I don't know, I don't believe, and I don't think it's the same treatment you give. I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo, when he gave the interview to me when he left United, he said that he felt he didn't have the respect of Eric Ten Hag. You see with Jadon Sancho now a similar situation, Ten Hag criticizing him in public and so on. Maybe that is an illustration of his, of his problems in managing big talent. But I don't, I don't say it's the coach's fault, mm. because experience you cannot buy. Mm. You just have to get time to get the experience. But it's two different situations, being in Ajax, being in United. Then if it's his fault, I don't think, because I think everybody has a responsible in the whole situation. We are a piece of puzzle from the big puzzle. Mm. So everybody have uh, a response. Um, okay, I gotta give it to Slatan. He's good at capturing people's attention, but I think he's being too nice to Eric Ten Hag. They're 10th in the league and they have zero points in Champions League. It has to be someone's fault. And you can't blame it on Monana since he just got to the team. So let's keep going. Possibility to do and to, to fulfill the, the, the demands. United has to win. Mm. They, they, they have to win every title they play for. Now they're being dominated by the neighbors. Uh, and, dominated uh, by the neighbors. <laughs> and it's a totally different situation there. And uh, you need to find the right path again and to, to push for that. Now it's, I think it's, you need a plan. You need yeah. a project to follow. And it feels like you follow a project plan and then it goes wild in a moment because of the results. Either you believe in it or you don't believe in it. So... I don't believe in it. Well, the plan is not working. How much more time do you need? He was there... When did he... Here, let's Google this. When did Ten Hag join Man United? Okay, so Eric Ten Hag joined United in April 22nd. I'm sorry, April 21st of 2022. That's a year and a half. So the plan's not working. Let's keep going. But with the thing, situation of the coach, I think he's living two different situations yeah. now. Then obviously what happened with Sancho and, and Cristiano, I don't know because... Is he, do you think he's out of his depth a bit, Ten Hag? I think he needs more time to get the experience, mm. how to handle a team. How much more time? Yeah, the, the, also the problem is that uh, for them the plan is just throw more money at it. So that's, that's their only plan. There's a problem, throw more money at it. So it's obviously not working. And how much more, what, what is more time? What do you mean by more time? How much time do you want? It's a year and a half. What, do you want another year and a half? But you don't really that get time at a club like no, United. No, obviously right? not, because we need to win. That's the reality. You come to my... When I was in Milan, I cannot give you time to, to develop, to, to, to perform. You need mm. to perform straight, because like I said, survival mode. Mm. It's you or another one, because United is in a situation you don't do good enough, the next day there is another one. Mm. And the result speaks for itself. So that's why the, the, it's tricky. But how much time do you give a coach? I don't know. Depends on the owners, what they want. Mm. But 
if you listen to the fans, you don't have a lot of time because no. they want to win. Absolutely. And I understand that because they're used to win and they want to still win. So I think it's a lot of things. The small details often makes the difference. It's not the, the, the whole, the big pictures you see because when things are good, there are, there are still errors and problems, but you don't see it because we are winning. So what do you think guys? Slatan is always right. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and until next time, later.